Alright, so. Yeah, I'm not really in the game. I don't really like, I don't do too much dating. I've only been in relationships. And when I, whatever. I have my history of singleness and single dumb. Mm -hmm. But I don't know the game. So what have you learned? I learned that. Really, you can't trust a bi female. If you straight lesbian and you, you want a real female, you gotta find the one that is just like you. These bisexual females really don't know what they want. They either want dick or they got... Nah, bro. And it's just like, at the end of the day, if you're gonna be real about yourself, I'm not saying, I don't have nothing against bisexual girls, but y'all need to pick a side, honestly. That's what I feel. And at the end of the day, if you're gonna be loyal to a real, a lesbian female, you gotta stay loyal. Don't be going around messing with niggas and flirting with them because at the end of the day, you're gonna hurt somebody and they're gonna be the realest person you ever met. So the way I make it seem is you trust, you are who you are. You are who you chill with. So if you're, if you're a female chilling around a bunch of whore females, you're gonna be a whore too, honestly. So I just put them back home. So that's the knowledge is basically be careful who you trust with your heart, because you only got one heart, and your heart can only take so much pain. I would say that. See how I feel about that, though? It's like, I feel like that's the situation with straight people and gay people. I mean, I, I mean, when you're in a relationship in general, the person's got to choose you regardless. you got to have that trust. And you want someone that's going to choose you every day. That's how love works. Is that, that's how love worked in the beginning. It was easy. It was easy to choose each other. Then after a while, it's not so easy. It's not so easy no more. you got to... Be patient and understand that we live in the world today where we, they don't believe in marriage and they just wanna, they wanna, just go have touch. sex with everybody just and touch. touch. Like no, you gotta learn, understand that we we only live once and you you can't die 70 and alone. Just like Drake said, who the fuck wanna be alone at the age of 70? Not me. I wanna I wanna find that girl that's gonna take care of me and be there for me when I come to work and I I'm stressing. I'm gonna do the same thing for her. The same thing with straight people. You gotta understand that y'all gotta love each other because at the end of the day, we only have each other. The government's not with us. We only here for each other. We are all family. We're all God's children. And he loves us no matter what. So we gotta love each other and make sure all of us are successful at the end of the day. And that's basically like, that's exactly what I'm saying in life. Like, when it comes to fucking, hey, what's up? <laughs> when it comes to... Everyone thinks this life is about self-preservation, you know, you're in it on your own, you win, you come alone, you die alone, that's what everybody thinks. And you think it's like that because you were a baby, yeah, you extracted, but you didn't come in alone, did you? You had an umbilical cord, it cut you off. And then after that, what happened? Oh, you were walking around, you needed people to talk to you, needed people to be around you so that way you could not only, you couldn't feed yourself at that point, all you could do was suck. And then they fed you food. And then after a while, they noticed you were a child and started treating you like the word child, you know, like how everybody else treats a child. And then you became all these other words, and that's how it all comes down to me, is it's that simple. We need each other. People need people, not paychecks, people. We, someone signs your paycheck. What are they getting from it? Who, who are they paying? Themselves. Right? There ain't no psycho. It's called psycho. It's psycho. It's psycho. It's a psychosis. It's crazy. It's a psycho that makes people want to do the same thing they've been doing to everybody else. Naturally, I'm faithful when I'm in a relationship. Naturally, I want to be only with that person. But I learned something about alcohol, guys. I learned something about alcohol. And I learned something about myself and boundaries, nigga. The point is this. All you can do is learn. What you've ever done does not define you. So, yeah, you may have dated men most of your life, and then you dated a woman, and now you think you're a lesbian? Well, you think, well, based on your history, you're not, but actively you might be now. Okay. That's activity. What's up, bro? <laughs> That's the ball. What's going, on? What's going on, man? Talking about relationships, man. No, uh, you don't want to talk about relationships with me. I'm all, I'm all straight about it. Thank you. Heartbreak, man. We're talking about heartbreak. This man knows it. He's been in a I've married been there, situation. Been there, been there, so what did you learn? There. I've been too much, too much going on. He's going through it, though. I've been seeing this guy off and on. Like, his wife won't even talk to him. He's kind of in a situation I'm in. His girl's just, like, hostile in every single way towards him. He's trying. And he keeps just trying. Well, he's not even trying anymore. He just needs to get things done. And their life were intertwined for 17 years. And he can't do much without her, in a sense. 
and she may be able to do everything in a bit, but that's because he left her the crib, she got the kids, and the law will do whatever she says. It's a mom state. So he's feeling it, and he loves her, but she has no patience for him anymore, and he don't, he, he's just lost, and he's upset. And I don't want to be in that position either. I was lost and upset. I still am a little bit lost and upset, but I'm not, in a way, because things were being clear. People in words, damn. Damn. You are beautiful. Beautiful God creation. Oh my God, she done fell down from heaven. You see that? Faithful. I can talk to him, but I can't touch. At the end of the day, I am, I'm spoken for one girl and one girl only. And I'm gonna give her my all, cause I wanna give her my heart. My heart has been torn up, but she has been repairing it for a while. So at the end of the day, I might, be a little flirtatious. There's nothing wrong with brightening somebody's day saying that they are beautiful because you don't know what she woke up to this morning. She came outside looking pretty, so I'm gonna give her a compliment because she came oh, outside shit. just to look pretty. So, you oh, know. That's some shit. Hello? That's how that goes, guys. Um, I'm on um, um, Phil's corner. There's nothing wrong with spreading I'm love. Sure in a just be careful of the love you're spreading. You think that hate shit's not love? Oh, it's, it's the most passionate form. We'll check you yeah. later. How I keep guy. Nah, Do nah. it.